curious lang why of all dishes and cuisine back in Spanish yung napili mo. Okay, uh, actually I've been uh, doing a lot of uh, types of cuisine. No? Ah. It's basically a uh, European cuisine, but because uh, I, I uh, how will I say it? Parang, uh, the first business that I put up is uh, garlic and pepper mill delivery. So it's the target market would be the moms. Now it's a it's a dining at home. It's a delivery. Right? It comes in a pack, a pasta. No, yon. Mm. Marami, marami akong, uh, fusion dun sa garlic and pepper mill na delivery. And then uh, I asked myself, sabi ko parang um, why should I? Why don't I? You know, put up a physical store or location for that. And uh, well, so may just gather pa yung idea ko on on uh, because I, I wanted to narrow down ano ba yung gusto ko offer for me to have a, a established brand to, for, to, to to the market. And then uh, from that, I uh, I thought of a Spanish cuisine. Why? Because uh, there's this uh, parang uh, uh, malapit sa puso ng Pinoy yung uh, dishes ng Spanish no? so we have the caldereta there, the menudo it's basically we are uh, familiar Is it food. easy? You find that uh, the Spanish um, food easy to pre- or easier to prepare compared to you know others? Um, yes, it's easy pero critical siya in terms of ano, um, uh, bracing the beef or uh, stewing the other dishes no? kasi kapag na-over naman siya dulog naman ng lalabas or kapag uh, school naman matigas naman so it's basically uh, ano eh it's a uh, really uh, tricky rin eh tricky rin eh not just by plating it eh, in a good uh, way but rather the cooking method is really tricky as well so yeah to answer your question it's hard to prepare kasi you have a lot of preparations to do eh talagang kailangan dami mong niluluto para kang nagluluto sa fiesta going back for those who did who only knows you you know as an actor kano na ba katagal yung fondness mo for like food um, yeah, when I was a kid, gusto gusto ko na talaga magluto. Um, uh, I, I've been exposed to restaurants since a kid, no? um, kasi my family has a business then. Uh, basically, restaurant din siya ba, sa Antipolo. Mm. And uh, yun, from that kasi na-exposed na talaga ako at a very young age. That's why I developed yung passion ko in cooking. Sorry, what's your course ba? Uh, marketing sa USD, no? So, hindi siya related sa food naman? Uh, hindi, at first, I started out my career as a, as a pharma company, no? as a corporate company. Mm. No? But then I got into other uh, industry, which is the show business industry. And then uh, some opportunity came in while I was doing my show business industry. No? And uh, one of those would be this one. That's why I also uh, studied uh, Global Academy. So that's oh. for uh, no, that's, uh, that's a diploma course as well. No? It's every Saturday. It's every Saturday. Um, Until now. Tapos na. Ah, tapos na. Yeah. 2000 ano pa ata? 2000 2000 uh, uh, you wear a lot of hats. Like and dami mong but if you you are to, to choose one, acting or cooking. <laughs> it's a lot. Which comes first? I know you like you like both, but which comes first? Probably cooking. Because of you know, since you were a kid, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talaga, Saka, that, that's where my heart belongs. Eh. Cooking talaga. So I feel, ano, I feel, uh, I find it really ano, therapeutic. You know, whenever I whenever I played something, whenever I cook, no, I always think of a person who's going to eat this and then parang, uh, somehow na visualize ko the smile in, in, in the face no, of the people that I, I'll be serving the dish that which I cook. Okay, let's talk about your restaurant. You own this, ikaw nang mag or yes, do you yes. have business partners? Actually, this is a corporation. No? Um, um, but basically, the, more or less was 70% of the entire uh, business is uh, it's actually... Uh, owned by you? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, wow! Okay. So, yun. Um, hindi ko naman kakayanin din siguro lahat ng, ano, ng responsibilities. That's why I need... Uh, it's kind of challenging. Yeah, sobra, so sobra. Actually, uh, developing, uh, constructing a menu is really hard. That, 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 that was, uh, comes in the... Um, yung handling the people is insanely tough with this. so mahirap talaga where did the name bueno come from? because okay, bueno um, is like tra- translation lang ba to? ano yung spanish meaning ng uh, it's actually a two ano um, how can I say it? two meaning no? kasi um, bueno which means good no? mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. why bueno? kasi when I was ano, in, in Spain for uh, because I studied there also for cooking so when I was in Spain um, I, I've undergone yung mga tours tours nila doon and then there was this one person who kept on saying, oh, bueno, 
Bueno, bueno. So, so okay. So, uh, so very catchy. So, uh, sige, sige, sige. Okay, I thought of a name and then yun, naging buena na. Okay. The Rockwell branch is the first and they said yes. you have plans of branching out somewhere else. Definitely, no? I, I, I wanna tap the market in Ford. So, siguro just, ano, I, I have to give myself siguro a few months, probably eight months to one year to a year, no? Hopefully, mag-pick up na maganda yung first branch and then from that, I'll put up another branch. Paano yun? What if maging super busy ka sa showbiz bigla? Yun nga, yun siguro. this is not goodbye showbiz, di ba? I don't know. Definitely I'm not. I'm not okay. burning any bridges now. Uh, 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 in terms of opportunity, I, I will still want to do showbiz because also partly, maarte rin ako kung ano kong inaarte mm-hmm, sa buhay. Mm-hmm. So, so parang, it's somehow uh, no, a combination of a good uh, what do you call this a good problem sa man, no? kasi minsan hindi mo yun sino ko sa ako punta eh, no? but while still young why not di ba ang gawin na nang gawin while the iron is hot strike strike I mean, it's kind of ironic lang no? for someone when I mean, looking at her Instagram for someone so fit na mahilig sa food mm. what, what, what's your reaction to that? <laughs> paano ba sabihin to? Uh, yeah, I eat a lot and uh, somehow I taste everything na that's uh, coming out from the kitchen. No? Uh, siguro it's just uh, ano lang, balanced diet. No? I don't eat much at night. And uh, I make it a point na I always do cardio probably. You know? oh, every day? Every day. Kasi You're every day sa kitchen, every day ka din sa gym. But uh, this, ano lang, this week lang medyo nawala ako sa gym kasi tal- <laughs> Mag, mag, ano, kami, launch kami this coming Saturday. So, yun. Uh, so soft launch pa lang to. Yeah. So yung grand launch is this Saturday. Saturday pa lang. Kasi we cannot really serve people half big because it's I, I want to polish kasi lahat ng uh, execution namin, services namin. Can this is a major tricky na question. There is that stereotype na you know, especially for those na ang taas ng taste or standard sa food. There is the stereotype na this yung chef niya is young. Yung chef niya is like from showbiz pa. Uh, how do you how do you want to break that stereotype? You know what? Um, it's interesting to know. No? A good thing uh, you mentioned that. It, and yes, you are definitely right. No, Megan, no? Especially if you're young. No? And uh, someone that comes from uh, someone who comes from show business. No? But then again, kasi, um, there will always be that kind of perception from the people. No? It's, not only by being a chef but also being a doctor or other di ba? Yeah, yeah. Sabi nila, baguhan, bata, Actor na naging politician, may mga ganun. Mga ganun you know? um, the thing is, uh, as long as you keep striving, as long as you keep your goal in life, especially in your, particularly in your craft, no? and then, uh, I mean, you keep yourself busy in terms of uh, developing uh, your your knowledge, no? just have an endless search for knowledge and everything will follow, I guess. No? Like ako, hindi lang ako nang natatapos dito. No? I always keep my, uh, my uh, what do you call this, my uh, information updated in terms of uh, cooking execution, cooking uh, demo, oh, sorry, cooking uh, method. No? And I, I, I always uh, use other equipment to show my uh, craft in a, in a creative, creative way naman. So, Few showbiz questions now. You're being co-managed right now by Jonas and Artist Center, tama? Yes, correct. Okay, so meron na bang future projects with, with GMA? For now, wala pa? For now, wala pa eh. Ay, alam mo na. Oh, bayan mo na siya. Pag-a-sya last show, okay. Uh, my love from the stars. Kasi ako natapos lang. Yeah, yeah. Ayun, Hindi ayun. naman pala mat- bakante na matagal. Hindi talaga. Ano nga, pero kaya medyo minsan, alam mo, tutulala ka na lang sa pagod. Ito yun. What do you mean? Ah, uh, kapag talagang sobra kang ano, um, uh, medyo, if you're doing a lot of things in life, medyo, that's true na no, baka talaga may patutunguhan ka. But the thing is kasi, you have to conserve sometimes your energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan mo pa rin isipin kung ano ba, what will uh, benefit you most. That, that's the key, I suppose. Wala pa silang in a love team sa'yo, no? Sorry. Yung ano lang, yung uh, blender lang. Sorry. Wala pa siyang, wala pa silang masyadong in a love team sa'yo. Ano bang plans? Um, Do you think you need one? Right now, wala eh. Uh, <laughs> parang pumutok lang yun sa Encantadia with Liza. So Liga. that's it lang. Yun. Pwede. So yun lang ang nangyari. And then after that, wala. I think, yeah, siguro dahil hindi rin ako masyadong papakita sa Artist Center. Kaya yeah. nawawala rin ako eh. Sa, sa, nawawala yung anino ko sa kanya. <laughs> Kasi hindi rin ako nakaka-visit lately eh. But, but yeah, siguro after ko dito, baka pwede ako mag-visit sa akin. Okay, um, going back to food, I don't want to put you in the spot, but questions now for those who are you know, skeptics out there. 
from scale of one to ten, how do you want your how do you how can you rate yourself when it comes to like especially yung na pili mong type of cuisine? How would I rate myself? Okay, uh, to be honest, I would rate myself probably siguro mga seven out of ten. That's a humble way. Um, why? <laughs> eleven. Uh, my customer na greet ng eleven. Eleven, <laughs> Honestly, uh, I I, mean, uh, I want to uh, know to uh, to somehow per, um how will I say it? I want to showcase not just the real the good the, the good taste of the dish, but rather also um, another execution for plating. Uh, I want to play on that all as well. Also incorporating uh, dishes, uh, sorry ingredients. So I think I still have a lot to learn. Probably. What's your message to those who want to start like a restaurant, like what you did? Kasi medyo ang daming, medyo nakakatakot siya ha. Nakakatakot talaga siya. Like, the money that you're risking for, you know, the investment. So, and then the time, and then the scale required. So, what's your message to those na who wants to start owning a restaurant at your age, like a young age? <sighs> Sa totoo lang, nakapagod dun. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nakapagod talaga siya. Pero, um, whenever, you know what, whenever I wake up, parang I always uh, look, Parang, uh, I always look about the future. Um, ano bang gusto kong makita sa sarili ko in the future, no? Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's how I keep going, no? So to those people na who would want to put up a restaurant, uh, it's not easy. That's one thing. And I number <laughs> two, you have to dedicate talaga your hundred one percent time here, no? Because um, in every in every industry naman, eh, you don't. Uh, trust everyone no? you have to have a uh, focus because this is a business again and uh, maraming pwede mangyari um, especially when you're just new to the industry no? marami kang dapat i- i- isalang alam no? but uh, for you to be able to have a very good foundation you have to have the knowledge first or you have to own your craft first para at the end of the day Balikan ka Manila, at least you have a skills, you know what you're doing. No? Aralin lang lahat ng bawat menu, aralin lang ang market, aralin lang kung saan ka dapat mag-exist. No? Hindi lang basta naisip mo may restaurant, patayo ako rin. No? So paano to? You will be constantly updating the, the menu? How, how, how's that? Anong, anong process? Yes, definitely. Uh, this is just part of the... Uh, this is just a draft menu namin for Bueno. The draft menu. Pero for me, uh, I mean, hindi kasi ako adventurous na food. Uh, Parang ano na nga ng menu mo eh. It's kind of a little bit sophisticated na ba uh, yan? Uh, yeah. Um, siguro, I'll, I'll have, I have to give it ano, at least three months muna before I settle with my uh, talagang solid menu. Kasi I, I need to know kung ko ano yung mga fast moving dishes or yung mga medyo hindi masyadong kumagalaw. Mm-hmm. So, yun. Yung malang masyadong nag-order in short. Yeah, yung mga ganun na bagay. No? So, basically, ayun, pag-aaralan pa rin namin with the food traffic sa sa this area. I see. Okay. So, uh, okay, I'll let I'll, I'll give you a chance to invite them later on. Pero second to the last question, what is the hardest thing number 1 in showbiz, number 2 being a restaurant owner? Okay, uh hardest thing in show business, I know um okay. Uh, me as a person kasi I always have value time no um when, pag medyo na idol ako medyo parang nangangatiyan pa ako na parang gusto the waiting time the waiting time no? and then that's basically that's how we are being paid off paid for and uh, sorry uh paid for no yung talaga mas mahaba yung waiting time no sa show business but I value those people then who work there who work in show business as well no because some business talaga and you have to wait din talaga no but for me kasi um, you've waited long enough you think? I don't know. I mean, uh, when, whenever you're in a set, no, kapag nagaantay ka ng, ng time mo na para itake yung uh, yung yung uh, scene mo, no, mahaba yung pag pagantay. Mm, it's not just waiting for the process. So it's also waiting there sa shooting sa set. Ayo ko na lang at yung kami kung gusto pa tayong ginagawa. So I think that's the hardest for me, no? Kasi it's challenging. Gusto kong may ginagawa. Eh, pag doon, di ba, natutulog ka, papahinga ka, gano'n. So, feeling ko, nasasayang ang oras ko. Mm. But, iniisip ko pa rin. Work pa rin yun eh. eh, eh part ng work ko yun eh. So, the waiting, yes. The waiting, no? So, kapag, if I transfer naman sa industry ko, which is the, sa kitchen, inside the kitchen, no? Or as a, as a owner, 
sobrang ano aligaga ako naman dito sa restaurant. Sobrang naman ako paspas na kung bakit paspas. Kung nakita niyo yung kitchen kanina, talagang galaw na galaw. Multitasking. No, kapag dating ko naman sa showbiz, parang... Alam mo yun, parang hindi ko... Misa, yun, yun yung hardest thing. Hindi ko alam kung saan ko, saan ko ibabalance out yung sarili ko. But then, both are really good to, to me. No? Because this, these are the things that I really enjoy. Acting and cooking. Okay. Sa cooking naman, ano yung pinaka most challenging mo? In, I know there's a lot, pero yung what's the most challenging part so far sa face mo ng pag-uon ng own restaurant? Uh, Creating the menu? Party, no? Yung food costing, mahirap yun talaga. Yung food? Food costing. Food costing. Kasi mahirap talaga. Ayaw mo naman mag-serve ng overpriced kasi the moment that the, the customer feels that you are really in high uh, price, <laughs> kumbaga parang you are being judged by one dish. Eh. So, you have to put it right. You know, there's no room for a mistake uh, when you're putting a price on a dish. And uh, also, siguro yung delivering the best that the uh, customer can, can get. No? Because uh, these are the people, uh, these are the reason, or they are the reason why are we surviving. Okay, short na lang. Ano naman yung best part sa showbiz and best part sa cooking? Best part sa showbiz, now you get to meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then you get to act mm -hmm. in front of the camera. You also like acting talaga? Oh, no? oh, oh, And oh, even singing. Singing, singing din, no? Uh, ang sarap, ang sarap sa show business. Kasi yung mga, mga character na sa gusto mo sa buhay, nagagawa mo, di ba? <laughs> yeah. Parang na-execute mo yun. Parang ako gusto ko dati maging uh, yung tipong detective. Nagawa ko yun from the reset of my love from the stars. No? Yung gusto ko yung parang ganun. Tapos yung pas... Tumatawa. O oh, sige, tumba mo na yung mga ganun. Di ba? So yun yung mga nakakatuwa sa show business. Also, nakakamiss din din talaga yung mga... Yung mga late, late na taping, sabi so, magkakatuwaan kayo, kakain kayo sa set. So, it's, it's really a bonding moment then for us. Uh, best part naman for the kitchen, siguro, if I see smile in the customer's faces. When he tastes the food. Yes. Okay. Um, part ba ng selling point, ang pagiging wapo ng chef? Um, I, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi mo na feel na advantage yun? Um, kasi... Sige, advantage nyo. Pupapaka-hypocrite. Ha-ha. Yeah, yeah. Pero yun, minsan kasi talaga, again, ayaw ko lang din. Because kids might come here, you know, just to see you. Kasi order tayo. There might be like that. Yeah, so yun, 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 plus factor, syempre, iba rin yung expectations nila. Baka sabihin nila, oh, baka may itsura lang yan, di ba? Baka naman, that's my question earlier. Di ba? So yun, I always ano pa rin, siguro mas okay lalo mas ako ng kitchen, yung tipong pawis na pawis, ano, para pag, di ba, ah, hardworking. So, <laughs> kasi yung paglabas ng kitchen, fresh, fresh na fresh na pa rin, ano. So yun, ganun. Okay, sige. 